hi guys welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video all right today i want to quickly talk about how to be confident oh yes welcome to my channel where we're dedicated to helping depressed people overcome depression get out of the helpless place and dominate a life through conscious living how to be confident um so let's take a moment to talk about our confidence and how it actually affects our overall performance really in everything and our relationship with other people relationship with self and other people so um, confidence as we all know is that self-assuredness that self-belief that self-reliance depression can literally take everything positive and everything good out of your life and literally most of all the stuff i talk about on my channel really are things that i have tried i have literally done them and i know how much impact they had with me or on me so let's get into it the first thing you want to do to be able to boost your confidence is one confront your fears all right i mean you cannot allow your fears control you if your fears control you your fears will dominate your life your fears will literally keep you in one position one place where you begin to perceive or where you begin to sense that you're comfortable you're stuck in a place that seems comfortable to you simply because fear is holding you down and because fear is ruling your life you need to take charge of your fear confront your fears get to it do I don't know maybe you want to try little by little those things that scare the freaking hell out of you you know deep down oh while we're at it tell me in the comment section some of your fears you need to confront them it doesn't matter the steps you take big or small but just confront your fears most i think most of the time you will naturally start with small steps because you know what you're actually confronting something you never thought you could ever do or you would ever do that's the only way you can break the limits that's the only way you can reach forth that's the only way you can actually push through out of your comfort zone you need to get out of your comfort zone wherever it is you feel very comfortable and most of the times you actually just get really comfortable because you know we're probably scared of something out there and that's what we're talking about you need to go out there you need to actually step into your fear whatever it is that scares the shit out of you get in front of it confront it start little gradual steps whatever it is the next thing you want to do is focus on your strength you need to believe in your abilities honestly i mean oftentimes we really just really focus more as humans on our flaws i don't know why we do that we do that like all the time it's so easy to see that oh you know what my nose ain't as smooth or as long or as flat as i would like for it to be oh, oh hey mm, i don't think like my hands are tall enough oh hey my, you know i don't know just we just all the time love to focus on our flaws things that we know we cannot even change things that we know we can do nothing about things that we know you know what i it's so amazing you guys because look at it this way everybody has flaws everybody has strength but the difference between the confident person and the person that lacks confidence or self-esteem is literally one thing the difference is what you choose to focus on do you actually choose to focus on your strengths or focus on your flaws that's the two different things i think like I mean, imagine, imagine, let's, let's do, let's just do an imaginary story somewhere. So, some guy looking all hot, looking all swagged up, looking all like they own the space, you know, in a meeting, maybe an interview, right? This guy just struts in confidently, comfortably, very at peace with himself. And then someone else is just trust in, even from the posture, from the working step, from the way they carry themselves, you can literally see that they are lacking in confidence. Who would you naturally want to like relate to or probably give the job to? It's the guy that actually wears the confidence. You can, the, the, the beautiful thing about confidence is it's so obvious, like everybody senses your confidence when you, when you wear it. Everybody senses that. So how do you think they do it? I mean, literally, it's just about focusing on your strength. Whatever, whatever those flaws are, it doesn't matter. 
let's make the decision today to consciously focus on our strengths and you know one thing it would really be helpful to work on your strengths every day every single day create time for your strength explore your strengths get better at them test your strengths test the limits it can go to like that stuff is so beautiful you know how you probably never knew that you could no of course everybody knows they can jump everyone is capable of jumping right but i mean so let's say maybe you just never knew how high you could jump if you do not try yeah you know you can you know you can jump right but you don't know how high you can jump and so imagine you literally picking yourself up and jumping and then you actually go way higher than you even expected that's the thing with confidence like now you are knowledgeable about your ability you know what you can do that stuff has a way of shooting your confidence level like from from the inside the next thing we want to do is set attainable goals i mean like i think one of the one of the things that can literally boost your self-esteem is working on something something that you know you probably set your mind to set goals that are really attainable it has a way of instantly making you feel proud of yourself proud in a good way proud that you actually achieved the goal that you set out to achieve in the first place that's the thing about setting attainable goals it actually helps you just see where you're coming from and how far you have come and naturally you see the progress you have made with yourself in your life and then you naturally just begin to you begin to trust yourself you begin to your self-esteem begins to grow your confidence believe in yourself like you know you can you know you can do this you know where you came from you know how far you have come that is what setting attainable goals can do to you so it is very very important as you go along the line just set attainable goals and then you find yourself improving every day you just keep improving and you find your rec I like to call it record <laughs> you find your record of successful deeds of attainable goals like it's almost just there on your wall or in your notepad or your journal you just see everything that you have actually achieved in the past month in the past week and i'm like oh my god you've done this like that stuff has a way because you know what you've improved in knowledge you've improved in skill you've improved in experience and ability everything so that's what setting goals do to you you can literally see how much improvement you've done or how far you have come and that is very amazing for your self-confidence the next thing you want to do is what help someone you know it is so i don't know i think it is the feeling that comes from helping somebody is unique you know how when you help somebody achieve or get through something you just know that you are so important to them you know that the position you feel in their life cannot be taken away from you because you know what you literally made them or you literally gave them what they needed you 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 gave them your time you gave them your service in whatever way maybe money maybe um deeds maybe just literally just helping whether with experience knowledge um skill or time just help somebody that has a way of making you feel so great and naturally when you help somebody basically i think it's, it's common the common thing the common reaction you get is a hug when you get that hug oh it's a chemical chemical in our bodies that is just released i think it's called the dopamine chemical right so you you the dopamine ke um, chemical is released to your brain and automatically it gives you that feeling of satisfaction it gives you gratification that's what happens and that feeling is just so unique nothing nobody can take it away from you the next thing you want to do is separate your weaknesses um yes i know earlier we talked about focusing on your strengths yes but now you have to separate your weaknesses um let me let me let me try to um bring that point home you separate your weaknesses all right everybody has weakness and strength okay in those weaknesses there are some of those there are some things that you cannot change from your weakness for example you can't change the way your eyes look or the sound of your voice you can't change it. and you probably don't like that about you 
that's okay you cannot change it however there are some weaknesses of yours that you can improve on not change but you can improve on and that's what you want to do when separating your weaknesses so you separate your flaws from the actual weaknesses that you can literally work on and improve once you have done that separation you begin to improve on the weaknesses that you can improve on if you actually maybe feel like yeah maybe one of your weaknesses is what fear of crowd fear of public speaking you can actually begin to like work on that you can begin to improve it you might not get better you might maybe never ever get to speak to a thousand people together in an auditorium but you are working on it every day and trying to improve just because you know what you need to just get the best version of you because that's what you owe yourself you owe yourself nothing short of the best version of yourself right so whatever you need to do to actually maximize that we're all in okay remember your weaknesses do not make you your strength actually define who you are never your weaknesses never your weaknesses never define you so remember that all right the next thing you want to do to boost your confidence god is so important guys stop comparing comparison is the worst that can happen to anyone comparison is the worst that can happen to anyone comparison i believe is the stealer and killer of destiny of dreams of life because you know what no two people are the same no two people have the same purpose on earth no two people have the exact same vision no two people have the exact same drive so comparing yourself to somebody else's personality life and vision is short changing yourself all right you do not want to just be what the filler light in somebody's beautiful well-lit stage you actually want to embrace all your talent your uniqueness your nature you want to embrace all of that to birth or to live that wholesome beautiful unique life that only you can live honestly only you can live your version nobody else so comparison is the worst that can happen to anybody and it literally has a way of sinking your self-confidence because you know what you're busy focusing on something that is never yours and can never be yours so move that energy move that attention to yourself affirm speak to yourself speak the words to yourself say what it is about yourself resound reaffirm your strength yeah i appreciate other people because you know what we all need other people definitely in the course of going through life but you do not want to compare other people affirm yourself affirm your strength validate yourself at every given opportunity pick up your strengths your flaws your weaknesses and make the most out of it enjoy the unique creature that is you and only you all right <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this content so far. Um, it's raining right now. I, I don't know how bad the sound is. I apologize for the sound. If you really get to hear the sound, it's the rain. I know, right? All right, okay. So let's, um, let's get back to it. The last thing you want to do. Oh, before we get to the last thing, tell me, guys, are you loving this content? If you are, just give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. And tell me in the comment section what actually... What actually man i'm trying so hard to just be such a good girl but i really want to say what fucks up your confidence like i really want to man tell me in the comment section what fucks up your confidence level all right let's have a conversation about it what can you do about it what are you doing about it all right let's get into it do you think you're actually going to try some of this stuff like take take charge take control of your life be conscious about your life make active choices and decisions that will form your life that's what it's about that's what we talk about on this channel let depression anxiety fear sadness not limit you or stop you okay let's get back to the last and final thing you want to know when trying to build your confidence you want to look confident is it easy to look confident is it easy to look where you don't feel i don't know is it sometimes i think it is but tell me guys is it easy but it is so important to actually look confident because you know what 
oftentimes, I don't know, I think it's the way humans work. Like, we always have a way of judging a person just by the way they look. The first chance or opportunity you get meeting a person, you literally want to just start sizing them up from what they're wearing to how they're standing to what they look like to... And then in that instance, you, there you are making a judgment call about the person, about the personality. So you probably want to just take charge of that mentality or that space. And honestly, just look as confident as you can. Because you know what? You do not want the wrong impression. And what looking confidence does for you is, it doesn't only just sell that confident vibe to whoever is seeing you, but it helps you perceive yourself as confident. And that's a trick. I know it's probably reverse psychology, but it works. It literally like works. Like <laughs> Sometimes I really don't feel the way I... I really don't feel as confident as I poised to be or supposed to be, but you have to wear that confidence because you know what, you can't afford to be misread or misinterpreted or be seen a certain way when you want to be seen a certain way. I'm, did, I, did I just confuse you guys? I think I'm still talking about affirmations at this point. You want to really just wear that confidence and literally just look the part. So that's the last thing you want to be doing to be able to build your confidence. I hope this video has been very helpful to you so far. And I hope that it is very practical. Tell me in the comment sections what you think. And, and thank you so much for watching. My name is Nancy. I am beautiful. I am bold. I am enough. I am courageous. Jeez, I am confident. Mm. I am a pace setter. I am creative, I am innovative, everything, everything is working together for my good and everything is possible unto me. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, bye.